See, faith is taught in a watered down way. If people always narrow it down to trusting in God for something. Yes, that's one form of faith. But when you talk about God's faith, you're actually talking about the things that God believes. That's right. Now, if you are the children of God, your belief is not allowed to contradict nothing that God believes. Amen. So before you declare loyalty to a belief, first find out, does God believe it? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. I don't know whether God believe it or not until I have knowledge of scripture. That's right. Because God's belief, I want you to hear me good, Amen. does not go outside of scripture. No. Jesus said, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them, mm -hmm. you think you have eternal life. That's right. Jesus said they do error. Why Jesus not knowing the scripture? Scriptures. Nor the power of God. That's right. The apostle Paul says, whatsoever things were written aforetime is written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture, scripture. might have hope. So your hope, your trust, your faith should not be in nothing else. Amen. But the scripture. That's right. The scripture. Is what build the church. That's right. The scripture is for the church. For the, church. the scripture teaches the church. Amen. The scripture discipline the church. Yeah. The scripture guides the church. Right. The scripture will condemn the church. That's right. And the scripture come back and justify the church. That's right. Amen. Now, Amen. what is the word? The word. I want to take my time and soak you a little. St. John chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Before you read that, because I know you're ready. Amen. What is the word, the word. South Carolina? What is it? Mm -hmm. What is the word? Anybody know what the word is? The word? the word is what? Is the word the scriptures? Is the scriptures all the word? Follow me in the book of John, St. John chapter 1 and verse 1. I want to take you for a ride. Amen. I want to take you to school, God knows. That's right. Listen. St. John chapter 1 and verse 1. Follow me. In the beginning. In the beginning. Was the word. It never said the word had a beginning. No. Now, in the beginning was the word. word. Hold it. Word is that which is spoken. That's right. So the beginning came into being by God spoken word. Right. Let there be light. Yeah. And there was light. Mm -hmm. He separated light from darkness. Let it be a firmament in the midst of the deep. Yeah. God bears the title word because that which is unseen mm -hmm. is brought to sight That's by right. the power of God spoken word. That's right. In the beginning was the, the, word. Word. the word. In the beginning was God. God gave creation a beginning through the power of his speech. That's right. Within God's speech, there is no flat, no flaws, no errors, no mistakes, yeah. no blunders. Right. God don't have to learn. That's right. God don't have to overcome. That's right. And God don't have to study. That's right. Amen. Amen. Well, what do God know, Pastor Jennings? Everything. 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 Pastor Jennings, can God lie? It's impossible. Impossible. Can God fail? Never. Never. Do God sleep? No. No. That's right. What do God lack? Nothing. Nothing. That's right. How good is he? Too good that you don't have words to express it. Amen. So good. He's infallible. He's flawless. Flawless. Higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. Yeah. He hangs the earth on nothing. He walk among the cursings of heaven. That's right. He called the clouds, his chariots, and said he ride upon the wings of the wind. That's right. Isaiah said Hallelujah. he sit 
upon the circle of the earth yes. whose inhabitations are as the grasshoppers. That's right. Solomon says, who have bound the wind in his fist and placed the waters in his garment? What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou can tell? He established all the ends of the earth. That's right. Hallelujah. Eternity. Hallelujah. Is everlasting, correct? Correct. But even that's too short to contain God. That's right. That's right. Mm. Are you listening? Amen. In until, the, until the book says, "Who by searching can find out God?" Find out God. Let's see how valuable the word is mm -hmm. in church. Amen. Listen. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Holy. Amen. When you go to study theology in seminary school right there, that scripture make you dumb. That's right. Because you use logic. Right. Oh, with. 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 Now, if we look at the grammar of with, yeah. with means there must be someone uh, besides him. That's right. That's a philosophical approach. That's right. That's a theological approach. Amen. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with. With, with God. And when you don't know scripture, you think that means it was another God with the one. With the one. That's right. And if there was another God with the one, that would mean God need help. Right. And if God need help, that would make God a liar That's to right. say he's the almighty. Amen. Amen. So it is impossible, impossible for it to be another God with him. With him. Give me Deuteronomy. Chapter 32 and verse 39. Deuteronomy 32, 39. We're going to balance that out with John 1 and 1. Listen. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. Says what? See now that I. God talking. See now that I. God Talking. See now that I. See now that we. I. Us. I. Them. I. They. I. How many is I, church? Talk back to me. Amen. Talk back to me. Hallelujah. See now that I. Even I. Even I. Am He. Am God. And. And. There is no God with me. There is what? There is no God with me. But what did John 1 and 1 say? And the word was with God. But what did Deuteronomy say? And there is no God with me. What did John 1 and 1 say? And the word was with God. What did Deuteronomy say? And there is no God with me. What did John say? And the word was with God. Now a seminary school boy, this is his problem. Right. He is so consistent with the wisdom of men right. and the wisdom of men don't have the inspiration of God to make the Bible harmonize. That's right. And because he lacked divine revelation right. it hinders him to participate in scripture and making the Bible harmonize. That's right. But when you got divine revelation and taught Go ahead. by the master. Go ahead. Go ahead. When yeah. God is your teacher. Hallelujah. You don't make the Old Testament contradict the New Testament. That's right. So when the Bible said there is no God with, with him. With me. And yet the Bible said the word is with him. Yeah. That don't mean there was another God. No. That means he's a God of his word. That's it. That means when God says something, it just got to happen. That's right. Wonderful. The word was with God. Was with with God. God mean he's a God of his word. That's All right, right, Pastor Jennings. All right, Pastor Jennings. Then just tell us who is the word. Who is the word? John 101 says, and the word, and the word was God. Amen. Who is the word? The word was God. Who is the word? The word was God. So if the word was God and the Bible said the word was with him, then God is with himself. That's right. By himself. That's right. Made everything for himself. Amen. And speaks for himself. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, preachers, mm. you hard head, Bible toting, cross wearing, manicured, nailed devils. Amen. Go ahead, brother. You feel as though that philosophy and theology. It's more important than scripture. Right. The moment you put the wisdom of men above scripture, you have elevated the wisdom of men above the word. And when you do that, you say in man knowledge is more better than God. That's right. Because God declared himself to be the word. The word. Now, right. before there was the written word. Yeah. 
There was the word. The word. That's right. Four. The written word is just the testimony of God. That's right. That he left on record through the prophets and through the apostles. Amen. So how did church become so full of trash? Yeah. If we stick by the scriptures. scriptures. If we stick by the scriptures. Yeah. This junk won't be preached in church. That's right. This junk won't be in the church. Yeah. If we stick to scripture. Scripture. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's see what happened. Colossians. Back in Colossians chapter 2, still in verse 7. Solomon. Rooted and built up in him. Rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith. Established in the belief. As ye have been taught. As ye have been taught. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Yes. Beware. Oh. Amen. The very first word mean warning. Beware. Warning. That's right. When I came up in the hood, you know, sometimes the guys would be like, look, man, you got to beware of that guy. That guy's sharp. Mm -hmm. That guy good with his hands. Amen. And a lot of times the one that's good with his hands, he don't sell wolf tickets. Mm -hmm. He just handle his business. Yes, then you got one that's always selling wolf tickets. He jump in the guy's face who's good with his hands and then learn the hard way. <laughs> because now his tickets, once he get hit, once he get hit, his tickets fall to the ground. That's right. Theologian is nothing but good sounding wolf tickets. That's all. And when it comes to face the Bible, mm. that stuff got to fall to the ground. Amen. Listen. Beware. Look out. Let's look out. Beware. Alert. Alert. Warning. Be beware. Now, you that are watching and you that are here. Amen. Is God warning us about your pastor? Oh, yeah. Is God warning us about your bishop? Lord. Is God warning us about your deacon? Amen. Is God warning us about the organization you're in? That's right. You judge. That's right. Beware lest, lest any man spoil you. Hold it right there. Spoil. When a thing is spoiled, you are ruined. You are rotten. <laughs> That's right. Because when a child is spoiled, that means it's used to having its way. Yeah. And when that child go among a disciplined atmosphere, mm. then that child cannot adapt to discipline, so it pouts. That's right. And whines. Whines. And then it don't want to subject itself. So when it don't want to subject itself, mm. you got to add some pain. <laughs> Amen. You know, you modern parent, don't beat the child, you know, just, just give it time out. time out. Give it time out to get the pain off after you beat them. That's right. Because God said, beat the child. That's right. And what he said? Withhold that correction. Listen at the Bible. In Proverbs chapter 23 and we're at verse 13. Withhold not correction. From the child. From the child. For if thou beatest him with the rod. If you beat him with the rod. He shall not die. You won't kill him. Thou shalt beat him with the rod. Thou shalt beat him. With the rod. I don't mean beat him cross his head and all that stuff. That's right. Know how to beat him. That's and right. know when to stop. Yeah. God ain't preached time out. God preached beat him. Be that's right. Huh? Beat that's with why the some rod. of you that are watching can't stand me because we beat him. That's right. That's why your pastor is crying. He's, he's crying with his robe still on. Beat, beat him. Beat him. That's right. We don't beat that second wife beat off him. of him. We don't beat the bracelets off his arm. We don't beat the ankle chains off. Yeah. We don't beat his toupee off his head. That's right. We don't beat the earring out of his ear. We don't beat the homosexuality out of him. Amen. Am beat, I him. Right? beat him with the rod. What is that? Beat him with the rod. Beat him. Beat him. I'm going to obey that. That's right. We're going to beat creation. Amen. All right, let's go back to Colossians. Listen at this. Back in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Solomon. Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil lest any you. Man Spoil you through philosophy. He's spoiling you by using what? Philosophy. He's spoiling you by using what? Philosophy. And what is philosophy? And vain deceit. Vain deceit. Mm -hmm. What he's saying and teaching sound good, yeah. but it's vain, meaning yeah. it's unprofitable right. to your salvation. Yeah. It's unprofitable for your spiritual development. Amen. And vain deceit have came in church and Bible have been pushed aside. That's right. Vain deceit now is called Bible. Yeah. Yeah. And you jumping in, hollering off of this oh, prosperity yeah. trash. Amen. Thinking that God don't want you to be poor. <laughs> God ain't never said that. No. God said the poor you have with you always. That's right. You don't come to church to learn how to get rich. Yeah. You come to church to learn how to get right. Amen. 
That's what church is for. You want to know how to get rich? Go to college. Go to business school. You want to escape hell? That's what the house of God is designed for. Amen. Listen. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy. By the usage of philosophy. And vain deceit. Vain deception. After the tradition of men. Wait a minute. Amen. What is philosophy after? After the tradition of men. The tradition of men said there's five minor prophets and five major. Right. The tradition of men says there are no apostles now. That's right. The tradition of men says flesh and blood is in heaven. Yeah. The tradition of men said there's two gods or three gods. Right. The tradition of men said bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal savior. Right. The tradition of men said go to an upright bowl and let a preacher sprinkle you. Yeah. The tradition of men says you don't have to go down in water. Right. The tradition of men says you can receive the Holy Ghost but not speak in tongues. That's right. The tradition of men says you got women pastors, women elders, women evangelists. Yeah. The tradition of men said a woman don't have to cover her head. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man. Look out. I said. Lest any man spoil you. The tradition of men said God ain't looking at your outward. That's right. God just looking at your heart. That's right. Tradition of men said you got your religion. I got my religion. We all one down inside. Beware. Amen. Beware. The tradition of men said there's nothing wrong with having a wedding where the bride that's in the church is half naked. That's right. The tradition of men said there's nothing wrong with two men getting married. Yeah. Two women getting married. Oh, yeah. The tradition of men said it doesn't matter if you're saved. In a wedding, you can dance at your reception. That's right. That's the tradition of men. That's right. Beware. The tradition of men let Democrats and Republicans and liberals Go come ahead. in the church and run for office to get a vote so you can vote for that liar. Go ahead. Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Tradition of men says nothing wrong with lipstick and earrings and finger rings and fake hair. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's men tradition. That's right. Tradition of men say there's nothing wrong with twerking in the church. Yeah, beware. Tradition of men say there's nothing wrong with having praise dancers on the stage of the church. Go ahead. Beware. Amen. The Holy Ghost said. Beware. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. When you get this tradition in you, yeah. what condition are you in? Spoil you. Spoil. Spoil. When you win that type of religion or church, Amen. you spoil. Spoil. And when Papa Jennings come, <laughs> Papa Jennings come right. with the word of God. That's right. Ready to lay it to you. That's right. That's now right. you mad, <laughs> upset. Yeah. And then they say, Where's his love? Yeah. Re Williams is reading from the book of love. That's right. That's right. This is the book of love. Amen. Where you grown, weak, spineless men Go ahead, man. get upset with us because we are preaching against your dirt. Amen. When you whore like women Go ahead. who want to bounce all around the world and then we come with the Bible and Go tell on. you that God commands for you to be a chaste virgin. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Spoil, spoil. You want your second wives and you want your second husband and you upset with me. So you said, Jenin said it. He ain't said nothing. That's right. The word Earth. is what said it. That's right. Don't get mad at me. Amen. You write me letters cussing me out. You want to cuss somebody out? Cuss God out. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. I Go say ahead. like Paul. Go ahead. I am what I am. What I am. But God is I am. That's right. That I am. That's it. Hallelujah. You've been spoiled. 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 By the Baptists. Yeah. You've been spoiled yeah. by the Apostolics. That's right. You've been spoiled. That's right. By the Pentecostals. Yeah. You've been spoiled mm. by the non-denominational. Yeah. That's why every chance you get, you turn it on some false prophet who believe in prosperity because you broke. 
<laughs> That's right. That's right. And you want to watch some limousine driving liar mm. who's nothing but a pulpit pimp. Go ahead. Talk to me. Preach it. Preach it. What do you think the church is for? Go ahead. Go ahead. The church oh, is go. for to prepare you to meet God. That's right. Yeah. You preachers yeah. have went to sleep on the job. Yeah. You are robbing the people. That's right. And if the Lord come, your movement, yeah. your organization will go to hell. That's right. That's because right. Because the preachers I went to sleep on a job. His watchmen are blind. I don't care you call yourself apostolic. Go ahead. You're not following the doctrine of the apostles. That's right. That's right. Look at the stage the preachers are in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 55. And at, Isaiah 56 and 10. Or rather Isaiah chapter 56 and at verse 10. Listen. His watchmen are blind. The watchman is the preacher. Amen. The only time he sees when offering time take place. That's right. That's right. The only time he get anointed when it's offering time. That's right. The only time he feel the presence of the Lord Amen. is when offering time. Amen. Blind. And you religious television watching suckers. Mm. Who got this prosperity junk in your church? Yeah. You got it here in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I don't, the storefront churches got it, the little churches got it. Amen. And your preacher, you go there and look at that bearded Jerry Curl head liar. Some of them is your daddy. That's right. And some of them is your husband. Yeah. And some of them is your uncle. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who they are. Amen. If you are a hustler, you are a hustler. That's right. That's right. Little congregations being hustled. Yes, sir. Yes, right. Telling them touch it and claim it. Yeah. It's not an apostle in the Bible. Preach that trash. No. Trace your hands on paper and send it to a televised liar. That's right. And did he tell you he going to touch and agree so he take your cut out hand? Yeah. You fool, that man done put you back in kindergarten. <laughs> Here you back in kindergarten doing arts and crafts. That's right. Tracing your hand. That's right. Which shows you are so desperate you are willing to do anything to get rich but you're not willing to get right. Amen. Go ahead. So you go to these hustles, hustle, hustle. TD Snakes, yeah. Creflo O'Penny, yeah. Joel Alstein, yeah. Fred Price, yeah. and some of your pastors right here in South Carolina have become so impressed by the mega churches and the Rolls Royce drivers and the Bentley drivers, they brought that philosophy right in your congregation. That's right. And now you sit in church, That's right. missing out on the kingdom of God, Amen. because the devil got you focused on dollars. Yeah. We are here to get you focused on God. Amen. God. God. Yeah. God. Go ahead. God. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing else. Nothing else. Wonderful. We don't want to hear nothing else. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Philosophy. Philosophy. This get rich trash yeah. have came in church and even the apostolics have fell in it like pigs love slop. That's right. That's right. You lazy bums that told posers as overseers. Your congregation made you rich. Yeah. You stop paying these liars bills. That's right. You stop buying them cars. That's right. You stop sending their children to school. Stop buying them houses. Let these bitches get off their lazy self and get a job and go to work. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. That's right. His watchmen are blind. You see why they don't like me and I don't care if you don't. Amen. 
Don't care.